I, I think we're going to enter a stalemate come Monday or Tuesday, which basically means I think there's a shot the market attempts to rally in the next day or so. Again, the overall trend is still uh, is still down. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the access of uh, week, well, weekday, right? Weekday, I forgot what day it is. Uh, Monday wrap-up show, hope everybody is doing well. Hope everybody had a great weekend. I uh, hope everybody is living life, loving life, and hopefully everybody is healthy and happy. If you are brand new to the channel, if you could be so kind, like, share, subscribe, uh, all the good stuff, right? Come along on this daily journey where we're trying to all get better, all get smarter, and the point is all become unbiased, and that's the name of the game, and that's where technical analysis comes in. So uh, as you just saw on uh, the preamble of the video, I always like to say the word preamble whenever I can, uh, we started talking about after last weekend's, uh, after last week's uh, sell-off, about 2.6% on uh, on the Nasdaq, over 2% on everything else, and now comfortably over a week below the 50-day moving average. We talked about a possibility of a dead cat bounce uh, happening either Monday or Tuesday. Uh, we got the dead cat bounce today. Uh, you see Nasdaq up 1.5%, led by uh, two old favorites. Uh, NVIDIA, we'll get to the pivots in a second, NVIDIA and Tesla. Uh, you had the S&P, you know, S&P, despite being up six tenths of a percent, uh, was led earlier majority of the day. It was, at one point it was right in the day. Uh, it was led by energy and bank names, but nice little recovery uh, at the end. And the diamonds on uh, the Dow was actually down on the day. Uh, it was down uh, a little bit less than 0.1%. Uh, so really not that big of a deal, but it really does show you there isn't a big, massive, uh, broad rally. It was, like we said, it was a dead cat bounce. The question is, on all dead cat bounces, well, how long can these uh, dead cat bounces last? Uh, if you guys remember on the weekend video, I talked about initially, well, let's see if we could get a two-day move into the five-day, and if it gets rejected off the five-day, maybe it starts rolling over. We got that pretty much right at the open today. Uh, the Qs traded right to the five-day moving average, and then they sold off about two bucks. And you turn around and go, oh, here we go again, right? I, I give you, I tell you one thing. I, I really will give, really will give uh, the Bulls a lot of credit. They could have easily rolled over when they hit the five-day moving average today and just played dead and just, just rolled over, and here we go uh, back to the lows. But they fought back. They really did. After the initial rejection back uh, of the five-day moving average, went down a couple of bucks, and then kind of rallied, right? I mean, NVIDIA never went down. Uh, Tesla never went down. Uh, Pan W. Uh, that we reported uh, earnings led uh, a pretty good rally on all these security names, uh, cloud names, they went higher. So you got a pretty good rally today uh, in the NASDAQ up 200 points uh, or 1.5%. Uh, again, the million dollar question is, can we do it again? Um, you know, listen, it, it is what it is. Uh, you know, here's the 10-day moving average coming up here. Uh, this is going to be uh, the next uh, major hurdle for the NASDAQ, uh, this 365.50 level. As you can see here, again, this is just one big downtrend. One, you know, one day doesn't make the lows. You know, here comes the lows. You know, here comes the bottom. It has to get back above through. Is it possible it could do that through a couple of days? Absolutely. Again, we're just taking one day at a time. But the big picture, remember, the big picture, all this is happening uh, below the 50-day moving average. Just the way we saw uh, every, you know, every rally. Here's the last time we were below the 50-day moving average before the reclaim. Just like we saw a couple of day bounces uh, below the 50-day moving average, you know, back in, um, you know, back in December, right? Back in December. So we're not anywhere near out of the woods, but again, from the surface today, kudos to the bulls. Uh, and we say all the time, we don't try to project the closing prices. We're not trying to guess uh, or make ourselves smart. We're just trying to take what the market gives us. Uh, the only question going into today's session was, was this going to be real? Matter of fact, if you look at today's Twitter feed, um, you know, you kind of see, you know, I started putting in three pivots, right? There's literally only three pivots in the day. Well, the fourth one, but Google, uh, Google never confirmed. You had Tesla, you had NVIDIA, and you had Pan W. And I, I was talking about, I'll start putting in more pivots as the day develops. As mentioned on the weekend update, uh, weekend dead cat 
for the next couple of days. That's exactly what we started doing today. I just want to make sure for the 10 o'clock channels to make sure that the buying is real. The last thing you want to do is, uh, other than Nv NVIDIA and Tesla and uh, Pan W today, if you bought anything off the opening bell, remember they pulled the Qs down two bucks. If you bought anything off the open bell that didn't have a range above the previous day's channel, you got slaughtered. Okay, that's a, that's a fact, right? You got absolutely slaughtered. So it was very, very important to us uh, to make sure that the buying was real, the 10 o'clock channel is confirmed, and we wanted to see if the bulls could continue more than uh, a few minutes. And I've always said this, uh, I've always said this, um, you know, it, whether it's in the webinar or in videos, whatever the case may be, it's not how many you trade, it's how many you trade properly. It's, it's where your value is. So even though uh, the NASDAQ went up one and a half percent today, you're not trading the whole NASDAQ. Like, you know, you know, if you trade the Q set, you got chopped up all over the place before they finally uh, started making highs. So it's very, very important. If you guys notice, it's literally the same stocks we trade every single day. So we know the levels. We're 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 ahead of the levels, and all we got to do is make sure uh, they start you know they start trading uh, above those channels, and that was very very important today. And today we had a couple couple of catalysts today, and the two biggest movers arguably in the Nasdaq 100, and they were Tesla and they were Nvidia. And like I say all the time, it's not how many you trade, it's how many you trade properly. So let's talk about it, right? Let's talk about it right from the gate here. You got Tesla, you know Tesla, you got positive. Uh, HSBC note today talking about how uh, the price cuts were kind of uh, going to be um, a platform, kind of a jumping off point for its next quarter. The market embraced that. And after the stock goes down three weeks in a row, it really doesn't take a lot for the stock to get going. Uh, 223.60 is the supply and the pre-market highs that kind of correlated both. It needs to build over to get another move for cash flow. And I'll tell you, I was very surprised that the stock, it turned more, right? It turned more than cash flow. So here is the, you see this whole area here? Here is the highs here, 223.60s, right? You see this Bollinger Band? And Tesla just took off, absolutely took off. They were coming for the 235, uh, 240 weeklies on Tesla. Again, when the stock goes down three weeks and you get any type of positivity and you get a little bit of daylight when it gapped up above the previous day's range, where you're going to get a move, you know, you're going to get at least a, a cash flow move. And this thing turned into more than a cash flow, uh, went from 223 all the way to, you know, 232, where it's trading right now uh, after hours. The other one was NVIDIA. Correct me if you heard this before. NVIDIA got upgraded with a $900 price target. Let me be the next one to say, I'm giving test, I'm giving NVIDIA ahead of Wednesday night's earnings a $2,036 price target. Part, target. I don't want to go up to 2100 because I want to be a little bit more realistic. But all jokes aside, again, it got upgraded again uh, today, uh, you know, and the stock exploded. You know, here we are. Uh, here was the pivot, right? Here was the pivot. Here was my uh, trade for the day. Uh, here was my pivot here. Uh, where is it? Here is uh, 445.20, right? So 445.20, if it builds, below, it builds above, can stretch more for the, and I was obviously joking, for the 188th consecutive upgrade in the last four days. And NVIDIA just exploded. I mean, absolutely exploded. So here is, you know, here is your opening range print right here. This whole area here was the whole opening range. It got above it and just went absolutely nuts. The stock was up 9% for the day. Again, congratulations uh, for all you guys who caught it. I mean, listen, what's not to like, right? What's not to like here? Uh, Google uh, 126.30 for builds below can flush. Never got there. And this was literally the only other pivot of the day. Uh, Pan W237 needs to build for the next spike potential. Pan W again came out with good earnings. Here was the 237, right? Here was the 237 right over here. And once it got above the 237, it went absolutely higher. So again, bulls did a great job today. Uh, when you look at the macro view of the markets, you can see here, uh, the Qs will not be uh, out of the line of fire until we, we claim back the 50 day moving average. Is it possible today was the bottom? Who the hell knows? But if it is gonna be the bottom, well, we have to reclaim back the 10-day moving average tomorrow for a potential run to the 20 and the 50. When you look at the IWM today, it's a very big lagger, right? IWM, it really shows you there is no speculation money today, at least not a lot, because the IWM uh, was the red-headed stepchild, both literally or figuratively today, uh, was right on the day, still in, under a lot of supply here. Uh, you have the diamonds, uh, again, not doing anything. The Dow is actually uh, down in the day, still continues to build uh, day two below the 50-day moving average and the SPY. Again, I give the SPY uh, contingent a lot of uh, contingent a lot of cr credit. 
Uh, you had energy and banks leading them lower, but again, they, they held serve and they rallied and they hit the five-day moving average low. Let's see if they can reclaim uh, the five-day moving average tomorrow. So again, if you are a bull, at least you're getting a little bit of a breathing space. If you are a bear, you kind of know the importance uh, and the continuation of importance building below the 50-day moving average. Like I've been saying for the last week, even when the market had lost the 20, lost the 50, the market's not going to go straight down. Okay, Even when we lost the 20-day moving average, we had several days of pretty aggressive moves up, but we ended up lower and lower and lower and lower. Is this going to be a trend that's continuing for the next uh, foreseeable future? We don't know. if this Is this going to be one of those scenarios that we start reclaiming back the 10 day moving average and we start grinding back to the 20. If that's the case, we are going to be ready, right? We are going to, you know, I, I have both longs and shorts ready for tomorrow. And I'm going to see if the bulls can give us a day two, or is this a one day wonder? They're going to turn around, get rejected with the 10 day moving average and go red. As we say all the time to be determined, we shall see, said the blind man. We shall see. Guys, God bless everybody. Stay healthy, stay happy. With God's help, I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.